Hey guys, so welcome to another weekly vlog. Thank you for coming back. It is actually Sunday the, I don't even know what today's date is. I'll put it on the screen, but it is actually the same day that I ended last week's vlog. Um, I just got dressed because I'm on my way out to grab lunch with a friend and we're supposed to try cryotherapy. And so I thought I have to start the vlog there because I do not like being cold, so this is going to be a hilarious experience if we're able to get in and do it. But anyway, so I finally got to put on some clothes for once and you get to see me outside of like my lounge and house clothes. So I just have on this jean um, Levi's jacket. It's a men's jacket. Um, and then I just have the top two buttons buttoned up. Um, and then I just have a white mango t-shirt under it. And then I have on these blue jean current Elliott, um, or I have on these current Elliott jeans. It's the pair of jeans that I had to match closest um, to the jacket that I have on. And then I just have on my a Goldie crisscross, a Goldie crisscross. Oh my God, I just have on my ash boots. And then I have on this like uh, faux leather, like patent uh, trench that I got from Nordstrom's. It's a brand called Leith, but I think it's a Nordstrom brand. Um, and then I just have on some hoops. I'm going to throw on a beanie because it's sort of snowing outside um, and some gloves for warmth and stuff like that. But this is, this is my outfit. Thursday so I just finished filming a try on haul like a collective haul this hoodie was in it I have on that ribbed um, skims outfit in the um, whatever color you call this I want to say bone but I, I feel like I'm making that up and I said I feel like I'm making it up in the haul but anyway the skims were a part of it this hoodie that I bought over Christmas was a part of it and look what came in the mail today my new balance 993s are also a part of it. I am super happy I went with the 993. I just, I love the way that they fit. And um, actually, they're a little big. I could have gone a half size down, but that's fine because I'll be able to wear my super thick um, slouch socks with them. So that's super, that's, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and lace them up so I can get the full, full view of them, but very happy with, with this purchase.
you'll be seeing the haul the Sunday before this vlog. So you'll have already saw me try all of this stuff on before you actually see this vlog. All right. Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I'm just getting back in from the gym. It is so sunshiny. Um, Chicago has just been beautiful. It's cold as hell, but it's beautiful. Um, just got in from the gym. Um, I have some work that I need to do. I need to prepare a video to go live tomorrow and then export another one that I filmed. Uh, but I have to at least wash my face right after the gym. I may not jump right in the shower. I'm not, a, I'm not going to even front, but I like to get the sweat and last night's skincare off of my face. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. But before I do, I wanted to show y'all something that I picked up first. Um, I don't know if y'all remember a couple of vlogs ago. I don't know if you could see that. I shared this with y'all. I picked it up randomly in Marshalls one day and it's called uh, C-L-S-E-A-E-L Castor Lash and Brow um, for fuller, thicker brows and lashes. Now I don't use it on my lash because I did it like twice and it kept getting in my eye and like irritating it. But I use it on my brows and while I don't think any hair has grown where hair doesn't normally grow on my brows the areas where hair normally grows is visibly thicker and I don't know if it's just I'm having a good like brow season or whatever but since I've been using this um the where I have hair on my brows appears to be um thicker so I found it in Marshalls but I mean maybe if you put it into um Amazon or Google it or something it may come up I know when you buy stuff from Marshall's one it's hard to go back in and find it again or two when you look it up it's three times the price that you paid for it in Marshall's but if you're looking for something to grow your uh brows or thicken your brows not necessarily grow because as I said I don't think I'm growing here where I don't normally grow here on my brows brows but if you are um looking for something to maybe thicken them try this because it seems to be working for me it seems to be working anyway so additionally after the gym this morning i stopped to buy target um because i was talking about having repurchased oops having repurchased the true skin vitamin c serum so i'm on my second bottle of this i am enjoying it a lot um it's not as sticky as some vitamin c serums can be um, on your skin so i really like it this is the first thing that i've replenished in that whole like skincare haul that i got um a couple months ago so it looks like i'll be replenishing every m other month or so uh ex with the exception of the vitamin c um serum but I did get a suggestion from a friend to try Shea Moisture's version. Now, I don't know if this is the one that she was talking about exactly. I actually saw two different serums. But I picked up this one. It's the Brighter Day Ahead Serum by Shea Moisture. I don't know if you can see that because it's extra sunny. Um, but it's for all skin types. It is pap papaya and vitamin C with yuzu lemon. So I am going to try this vitamin C serum. So what I think I'm going to do is transition to using this in the day since it has like papaya and fruity stuff in it. And then continue to use my true skin vitamin c serum in my nighttime skin routine so i'm going to add this and see how i like it that's pretty much it for me today i don't have a lot planned my friend and i are going to go get a late lunch at about three we are just dying to find stuff to do outside of the house at least one time a week um other than the gym so one of the greek uh restaurants that she likes to go to has a nice like outside area that's heated so we are going to go grab lunch and then i don't have anything else planned for um the rest of the weekend so i'm gonna get to wash my face do a little bit of work and then prepare to go eat some great food which is my favorite by the way just so y'all know <laughs> okay guys so it's a little while later i just finished getting dressed um didn't put on anything special have on this long um coat that i got from target 
years ago it's thin and it's no lining in it so it's not gonna keep me warm but it's cute um i threw on a scully because it's super cold it is cold in chicago um just a long sleeve oversized collar shirt and then i have on those uh chocolate brown trousers from last week's haul with um the chucks with the uh parchment chuck 70s and then just have on some brownish socks little monochrome moment going on here at the bottom so this is what I'm wearing to lunch. I thought how Amari was with fried octopus. I thought it was squid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I am back home. I was out all of like two hours, <laughs> two hours. Um, but you know, Chicago is still pretty closed right now. Um, but that restaurant actually has like an outside patio area that's fairly spacious. So they're able to operate at a decent capacity. So we were in and out really quickly. We just went to grab something to eat. Just a little time out of, out of the house. I'm already back here. Um, I got a little bit of, uh, blog footage or vlog footage so i'm exporting that now and getting it um added to wrist popping getting it added to um the vlog and yeah i'm just sitting here chilling i got about four candles going i like to like layer the scents of different candles meaning i just light every candle in my house and it smells good um and i think i'm gonna chill i think i'm going to watch one night in miami and um call it a night i'll probably fall asleep midway through it i did just get influenced though i just literally on a whim bought a pair of shoes um i saw a girl with them on um on instagram and i immediately got on google and googled the shoe because it was so dope to me it's a pair of asics and i've never had a pair of asics and it reminds me so much of my um let me see if i can get that to focus they remind me so much of my platform um my sage lows my air force ones but they're asics and i just thought that they were a super cute alternative to my air force ones and so yeah i went ahead and bought them and they were really inexpensive they were only 70 bucks i think right under 80 dollars with tax and shipping so yeah, those should be coming pretty soon. Okay, so that's enough of that. I am going to call it a night here and I will talk to you all after Trader Joe's tomorrow. Happy Monday, guys. I am just up, it's super early. It's right after like 5.30. I am getting ready to head to the gym. I usually leave my apartment at like um, 6.30. Y'all, my sports bra is like way too little. I used to buy sports bras out of like the little girl section, but my back is getting too big for that. Oh, I could barely breathe in this thing. Anyway, um, I'm headed to the gym. I did not film anything yesterday, not even what I got from Trader Joe's because I know I normally say, I didn't get anything new, but I really did. It, it was like nothing worth sharing. So I didn't, plus yesterday was a lazy day for me. I literally just laid in my bed all day and did not eat that junk that you saw me throw away. And I'm not typically a person that like pays attention, a whole lot of attention to what I eat. I don't generally eat a lot of junk. But if I do, I don't beat myself up for it. But I ate pretty much that entire big bag of Doritos and like 13 of those cookies. And I just was like, first of all, you have a stomach ache. Second of all, what even is you doing? Like, <laughs> you're throwing that away. So whatever, I told myself whatever I have left this morning, I have to get rid of. So that's what you, you saw me doing. Anyway, I need to go ahead and get ready for the gym. I just need to come on and close the vlog out so I can start vlogging for next week. Um, I have pretty busy. I have a pretty busy morning um, at work. Today is my monthly um, department meeting. Well, I host a, a meeting for my department for all of the, the um, different schools and units on campus um, that we work with. So I have that this morning. And then I also um, run our department newsletter. And so that goes out to all the units as well. So I write, edit, and send that out every two weeks as well. So I have to get a uh, edition out today. And then my afternoon is pretty easy. So I think I'm gonna do some more birthday pr planning, send out costs and stuff to the people that are, are accompanying me on my little trip. 
and yeah that's all i'm going to do today so i am going to go ahead and close the out finish getting ready for the or close out the vlog um get ready for the gym and i'll talk to you all talk to you all later thank you all for watching i appreciate all of the views it's growing it's growing slowly but it's growing so i appreciate those of you that come back every week and watch make sure that you're liking you're subscribed make sure that if you have any questions comments and concerns that you drop them in the comments and we can you know we can we can talk about it also make sure that you're following me on instagram my handle over there is B Angela um, underscore B E and I will talk to you all in the next vlog. Peace.